5-axis simultaneous machining gives the user several benefits. By being able to manipulate the tool, the user can reach areas that might not be able to be cut from a single operation. The user can use shorter tooling, thereby increasing tool life and the rigidity of the tool creates a better surface finish. And DFS gives us all of these benefits by adding the 5-axis simultaneous uh, milling module. In this case, we're going to use the module to avoid gouges. As this tool mills down into this pocket, which is a normal 3D surfacing feature, you can see that the tool holder collides with the part. If we still want to maintain relatively short tooling, we can tilt the head of the machine to avoid that gouge and not have to go with longer, more flexible tooling. So to do that, you simply go to a, an existing surface milling feature and editing its attributes and go into the 5-axis tab. A majority of the 5-axis control in DFS is done through just regular surface milling strategies. But we add this 5-axis tab and we can define a fixed tool vector so you can tilt the tool to a specific angle, leave it there for the entire operation. We can also incorporate lead and or lean of the tool as it moves across the surface. We have other strategies such as from a point to a point from a curve into a curve. And we have some more automatic strategies for, of, for gouge avoidance, tilting the tool or leaning the tool to avoid gouges as they are detected. In this case, we're going to use the from a point strategy. And we have a point defined up in space. You can see this sketch right here it is the point from which I want this tool to angle. So I simply go down into my list to see the tool axis. I can select that sketch as that point, and that's all there is to it. Now the tool comes down and remains through that point throughout the entire machining process. This is also associated, just like everything else in DFS, if I decide that point is not really what I want, I can move that point and my feature will update. DFS does have two machining strategies that are specialized 5-axis simultaneous strategies. If I select a surface milling operation to machine this face here, I can select either a 5-axis trim finish or a swarf finish. And the swarfing operation will take a regular straight-sided end mill and keep that end mill on this surface tangent as it machines around. Not only can I see that shown in my 3D simulation, I can also show this in machine simulation with the machine simulation module. The machine simulation module will let me see the part and the machine's actual kinematics as the part is manufactured. 